Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. And in this video tutorial we are going to knit popular in this season uh, ski mask or balaclava. So call it as you want. Really nice uh, accessory for the windy and snowy weather. It can be done from different yarn. Um, I recommend you using a wool blend yarn. Today I'm going to use acrylic, but I recommend you to use a wool. Do not use mohair yarn or angora yarn if you're going to wear it and cover your lips. So there are two ways how to wear it. And if you're going to cover your chin and lips, so do not use those fluffy yarns. Regarding materials, you will need two pairs of knitting needles, 4.5 millimeters for the beginning, and then we will switch at this point for four millimeters knitting needles, and we will continue knitting using four millimeters knitting needles. Yarn. Again, I was using here vintage yarn. It's written it's DK yarn. So it has uh, 124 meters per 50 gram ball and I was using in total 6 balls or 300 grams. Uh, this is uh, this ski mask will fit the hat circumference up to 60 centimeters. And I was knitting in two strands of yarn. So what you can do, you can take any bulky yarn, for example, this one, uh, color made easy from Lion Brand. Uh, I was trying also using this yarn before. You will get the same gauge uh, and uh, or any actually any other bulky yarn and knit in one strand, of course. Uh, what else? You will also need uh, five at the beginning one stitch marker and then you will need five stitch markers to shape the crown and that's basically it here we also will learn how to make a italian cast off method that is distinctive method and has a seamless look and has an extremely stretchy edge so let's get started Using long tail cast on method, 4.5 millimeters knitting needles, and and two strands of yarn holding together, cast on 72 stitches or any other number that is divisible by eight. Uh, for the size, I'm doing half for the size 54, 60 centimeters. If you want less then cast on 64 stitches now cast on one more extra stitch and use it to join knitting in round slip the first stitch then slip the last stitch over the first one and drop it off the needle return the first stitch to the left hand needle and place a stitch marker. As you understood, I cast on one extra stitch, so in total 73 stitches. Check that all your stitches looking in one direction. And let's get started. Knit one, purl one, Just the first round, simple ribbon, knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Knit one. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit 
Knit one purl one. Please finish this round. Round number two. We are going to make an imitation of Italian cast on. It's easy, really easy, but the, you will see the result and you will, I like how the edge will look. So what you are doing, bring the needle underneath all stitches, then slip the first stitch to the right hand needle, bring the needle back and return the stitch to the left hand needle, now knit it, knit one. Purl one, here I am purling it through the back loop, but it it's not always um, going to be a case, just a purl stitch, normal purl stitch, do it as you know. And now we are going to repeat everything the same. Bring the needle underneath, slip the next stitch to the right hand needle, return the needle back and return the slip stitch to the left hand needle and knit it. And then purl the next stitch. So we are doing knit one, purl one. And again, Bring the needle underneath, slip the next stitch, bring the needle back and return the stitch to the left hand needle and knit one. Maybe not visible as yet, but already as for me an imitation of Italian cast on. So purl one, and again underneath slip, turn and return. Knit one, Girl one. In this way go on knitting till the stitch marker. Round number three. Look the edge. So in the next round we are going to make just a simple ribbon, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Go on till the end. Round number four. And here we are going to start the main pattern. So in this round we are going to knit one below. So you insert the needle not in the next stitch but one below. And drop of the needle next stitch. Then purl one. Then again knit one below drop and purl one. I go on purling through the back loop, you go on purling as you usually do. Knit one below, purl one. Knit one below, purl one. Knit one below, purl one. 
Neat one below pearl one. Please finish this round. Next round, we are going to knit the next stitch. Knit one, and here we are going to make pearl one below. For this, we bring the needle from the back and insert it from back to front and make a pearl stitch. Again, next stitch, just knit one and pearl stitch, we make a pearl one below. Knit one, pearl one below. Knit one, Pearl one below. And again, knit one, pearl one below. Knit one. And you can see already the ribbon, fisherman ribbon. Go on, knitting, knit one, pearl one below, till the stitch marker. Next round, we are going to repeat the round before the last one. So, knit one below, pearl one. And that's basically what we are going to do all the time. Knit one below, just these two rounds. Knit one below, pearl one. Knit one below. Pearl one. Knit one below, pearl one. After that, you finish this round, knit and knit one below, pearl one. And then in the next round, you will, you're going to knit one, pearl one below. Knit one, pearl one below. And like this, you go on alternating these two rounds until the piece reaches at least uh, 14 centimeters. Here I am and that's what I have and that's how it looks. Let's measure. Uh, so I have 13 and a half centimeters enough. If you want more, this part will cover your neck. So now we are going to switch to 4 millimeters knitting needles and we are going to knit simple ribbon, knit one, pearl one. The last round was the round where you did pearl one below and now just knit one, pearl one till the end. Knit one, pearl one, knit one, pearl one. So finish this round till the stitch marker and then knit two more rounds just in normal ribbon, knit one, pearl one. Here I am, I've done three rounds of ribbon, knit one, pearl one, and now knit one below, pearl one. Now we are going to back to the fisherman rib, alternating those two rounds, knit one below, pearl one, and the next round, knit one, pearl one below. Please finish this round, then as I said, knit one, pearl one below, knit one, pearl one below, and go on knitting, until you have uh, 8 centimeters from the place where you have changed the knitting needles, from the place where you started knitting with 4 millimeters knitting needles. Here I am. So let's measure it. So 
So it is eight and half centimeters. You can make it slightly higher, nine centimeters, 9.5 is fine, okay. And now we are going to make an opening for the eyes. Here I place stitch markers. So you count four stitches, uh, sorry, five stitches uh, from the beginning. Let me show you. And so count one, two, three, four, five. Place a stitch marker, then 27 stitches and place the stitch marker. So between stitch markers, we are going to use Italian custom method here to get the same age as at the beginning. If you are knitting for the smaller size, then make this opening a little bit less, like 25 stitches. The most important, the number that you are leaving has to be odd number. So place a stitch marker and the last round that I did was the round where I did a purl one below. So we are going to make knit one below Curl one, knit one below, curl one, knit one below, and now slip the stitch marker, you don't need it anymore, and you need to cut the tail and make it three times as long as the as uh, as your lift lift stitches. Cut. and here you will need a yarn needle or tapestry needle I'm going to use yarn needle thread the tail and let's get started so as I said we are going to get this time it's not an imitation it's a real Italian cast off method. So we are going to join knit stitch and knit stitch and purl stitch and purl stitch. So now you see that the last stitch was the knit stitch. Slip the purl stitch and insert the needle into the knit stitch as if to purl. Now bring the working yarn back. So now we need purl and purl stitch. Insert the needle into the purl stitch in this way, like from the left to right. And now you can slip it off the needle. I know you think it's hard, just repeat what I'm doing and everything will be all right. Then the next stitch is the knit stitch, we skip it and you see the purl stitch, insert the needle from right to left into the purl stitch. Okay, so now we connected two purl stitches. Now bring the working yarn in front because we are going to work with knit stitches again. Insert the needle into the purl stitch as if to knit. And now you can drop it off the needle. Now skip the next purl stitch and insert the needle as if to purl like we did before at the very beginning. So skip this one and into the knit stitch as if to purl. And we joined 
tool needs stitches. Now bring the working yarn in back and you can hold it with your finger and now insert the needle into the purl stitch but kinda on the wrong side from left to the right like this. The needle is looking at you now and drop it. Now skip the next stitch and insert the needle into the purl stitch. It looks like needs stitch on the wrong side, by the way, from right to left. Okay. We connected two purl stitches. Now bring the working yarn in front and hold it with your thumb. Insert the needle into the next stitch. It's a knit stitch as if to knit and slip it off the needle. Now skip the next purl stitch and insert the needle as if to purl into the next knit stitch. Okay, now we are going to work with purl stitches. Insert the needle from left to right. Don't forget to bring the yarn back and hold it with your finger and drop it. When we connect two stitches, like to knit stitches and to purl stitches, we always drop the first stitch and leave the last stitch. So now we drop and now we insert the needle into the purl stitch and we leave it, of course, because we have another stitch before. Okay, bring the working yarn in front. Insert the needle as to knit and drop it. Then insert the needle as if to purl and leave it. If you find it hard and complicated, I'm sure someone will find it hard and complicated. Please use just a, just a normal bind off and bind off 27 stitches. And that's it. I'm doing it because I like this edge and it looks better for the opening. So now we connect two purl stitches and bring the yarn in front again. Insert as to knit drop of the needle. Now skip the next stitch and Insert the needle as if to purl and pull the tail. Bring the yarn back. So now we are going to work with purl stitch. Insert the needle from the left to the right. The yarn tail is always underneath drop and then from right to the left and that's what we get really beautiful edge and it's stretchy enough as to need slip and as to pearl yarn in back from left to the right 
and from right to the left. And again, as if to need slip and as if to throw. Slip in back and again. We are going to connect two pearl stitches together. So I think it's clear. Please go on till the stitch marker. When you bind off all stitches, of course, you will need to tie them new yarn again now we go on knitting the same round so we did knit one below as you remember at the beginning first five stitches purl one knit one below purl one knit one below purl one Knit one below, purl one, till the stitch marker here. Now we are going to start knitting in rounds and I have those five stitches. I don't want to remember about them that I have to now start to knit one purl one below. So just finish knitting these five stitches as Knit one per one just in a simple ribbon because otherwise you will have to always remember about these five stitches. And trust me, it will not be super visible. So we need one per one and at the end knit one. Now turn because we are going to need two more rows. Here we will have salvage stitches, slip the first stitch. And here when we knit in rows, we are going all, all our rows will be with knit one below purl one. It only works if you are going to do the fisherman rib in rows. When you are doing it in rounds, you have to alternate. So knit one below, purl one. Knit one below, purl one. Knit one below, purl one. Go on till this point. Okay, at the end we had knit one below and purl one. Now we are going to need one more round. So slip the first stitch. Then you see purl stitch, purl one. And then knit stitch, knit one below. And go on till the end. Purl one, knit one below. Purl one. Knit one below, purl one, knit one below, go on till this point, knit the last stitch, and now we are going to cast on. 27 stitches or 25 uh, the same number that we bound off so how we are doing it there are lots of way how to do it uh, just place the working yarn on your thumb and bring the needle underneath the tail that is nearest to you 
and like this cast on 27 stitches or any other numbers that you bound off. Okay, now check all your stitches that they are not turned and or twisted. And let's join. Place the stitch marker. The beginning of the next round will start here. So the stitch marker will show us the beginning of the next round. And before we were doing knit one below, now we are going to start another round, knit one, purl one below. Knit one, Purl one below. Knit one, purl one below. So as before, we are alternating two rounds. Knit one, purl one below. Go on till the place where we cast on new stitches here. So the last stitch. Knit one. And now we are going to knit here a simple ribbon starting with a purl stitch. Purl one. Knit one. I knit and purl here through the back loop. Purl one. Knit one. Again. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, go on till the stitch marker, till the beginning of the next round. So that's what we have. Slip the stitch marker and now purl, uh, knit one below. You can see that in previous round we did purl one below. So in this round knit one below, purl one. Knit one below, purl one. Knit one below, purl one. Knit one below, purl one till this opening, till this point. And now here you did the pearl uh, knit one below and we are going to make the same age 
as we did at the beginning, the imitation of Italian cast on. So they look more or less identical. I mean the bottom and the top. So purl one, as it is a purl stitch, then bring the yarn, the needle under, slip the next knit stitch, return the needle and return the stitch to the left hand needle and knit one. So everything what we did at the very beginning. Purl one, bring under, slip, return and knit one. Again, purl one, slip, return and knit one. Slip, and knit one. Please go on doing the same imitation till the stitch marker. That's how it looks, the opening, and, and as you see, the bottom and top line look more or less the same. So the next round, knit one, purl one below. Knit one, purl one below. Knit one, purl one below. Need one, purl one below. Go on till this point. And here, purl one below. So you go on doing what you did. Need one, purl one below. Knit one, purl one below, knit one. So that's how it looks already. You see the ribbon. Finish this round and then go on alternating two rounds. And knit until the top part reaches 9 or 10 centimeters. And here I am. So that's what I have. Uh, I tried it already, and the length of the top part, this one, is enough. So I've done it. Let's check. So it is nine and a half centimeters or almost 10. So uh, it's enough. You see, I have some tails. We will weave them at the end. And we are going to start shaping the crown. 72 stitches divided by four, 18 stitches. So we need to place four stitch markers. First, we count 14 stitches. 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. And we place this, the first stitch marker. And you will see why not 18 after. Right, 14. Now you count 18 stitches. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place the second stitch marker. Then you count again 18 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There was nine here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. And place the third stitch marker. And 18 stitches more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, here. And we have four stitches and 14 that we count at the beginning. So together, 18. So that's how we place the stitch markers. To have an identical uh, decreases from both sides. So they will go up here like this. So uh, this is important how you're going to place them. If you have another number of stitches, so just try to place them and redistribute stitches as symmetrically as possible. So I'm using another color stitch marker here just to know that this is the beginning of the round. And we are going to make decreases. So last round was the round where we did pearl one below. And in this round we are going to knit, knit one below stitch, knit one below pearl one. Knit like this until you have two stitches before their stitch marker. Knit one below purl one. Knit one below purl one. Knit one below purl one. You see you have two stitches. Now I'm going to make a slip. I slip the stitches to knit just to turn it. Now knit, pass over, slip knit, pass over. Like this I did left linear decrease. You see the stitch is bending to the left. Slip the stitch marker. Now knit one below. And next two stitches knit two together. Okay. Now we decreased two stitches. Every round, in every round with decreases, we are going to decrease eight stitches. Go on knitting, knit one below per one till the next stitch marker, until you have two stitches before the next stitch marker. And now again, when you have two stitches, slip, knit, pass over, knit one below, and then knit two together. And we did a right linear decrease. Again, go on knitting until you have two stitches before the next stitch marker. Pearl one, knit one below. Like this. And again, pearl one, knit one below. Now 
need one below pearl one. Okay, two stitches, slip, knit, pass over, slip the stitch marker, knit one below and knit two together to make a right linear decrease. Go on knitting till the next stitch marker and make the same here. Slip knit pass over, knit one below, then knit two together here and purl one. And I will see you at this point. Okay, round number two. In this round we are not going to make decreases. We are going to knit one, purl one below. So we are going to need all knit stitches and purl one below all purl stitches. But pay attention in the place where we did decreases, we are going to have three knit stitches. So we are going to make knit one. Here's the same knit one and here's the same knit one. So just knit them and go on till the next stitch marker. Pearl one below, knit one, pearl one below, knit one. Pearl one below, knit one, pearl one below, knit one. Pearl one below and again knit three. One, two, three. Go one like this till the next stitch marker knit three here and here knit three. And at the end you will have here knit three and pearl one. And I will see you here. Round number three, we are going again to make decreases here. Knit one below pearl one till the stitch marker. When you have two stitches before the stitch marker, knit one below pearl one again. Knit one below. Now you have a pearl stitch and knit stitch. So what I want, I want to bring the knit stitch in front just to make decreases look smoother. For this I slip both stitches and in the back pick up the pearl stitch only. Then I drop knit stitch and pick up it in front and return it back to the left hand needle like this and we are going now just to make knit two together through the back loop and to get again the left linear decrease again knit one below and here without changes knit Two together. And that's what we have and that's how it how it looks. Go on knit one below pearl one till the next stitch marker. Stop before you have two stitches. And this time uh, I will show you how to do it using an extra needle because it, it's like a cable twist. So we will take an, just an extra needle, double pointed needle, and we'll make the same. Uh, 
Okay, we have two stitches. Sorry, I don't have any other needle. So what we are doing? Slip the purl stitch and leave it behind the work. Now slip the knit stitch to the right hand needle, then return purl stitch and then return knit stitch from the left hand needle like this. So we did it the same what we did before and knit two together through the back loop slip the stitch marker knit one below and knit two together okay oh I've lost somewhere the stitch marker Okay, I will find it later. Somewhere from somewhere here. Okay. Now go on knitting. Knit one below. Pearl one. Until you have two stitches before the next stitch marker. Knit one below, purl one. Knit one below, purl one. Knit one below. Now again, you have two stitches. So let's twist them. Pick up the purl stitch from the back, drop the knit stitch from left hand needle and pick up it in front again and return to the left hand needle. Like this. And knit two together through the back loops. Slip the stitch marker, knit one below and knit two together to make a right linear decrease. Until the end and I will show you what we are going to do here. So the last stitch marker, after the stitch marker, knit one below and here knit two together. Slip. Next round will be without decreases. Knit one, purl one below. Knit one, purl one below. And again, pay attention before and after stitch marker. Here, curl one, knit one, again knit one, again knit one, knit one, and again knit one. So in total knit five. Knit five. Then purl one below and go on knitting again till the next stitch marker. You will have again knit five. Here, knit one, two, slip the stitch marker, three, four, and five. Then purl one below, go on 
till the end, till the stitch marker. Next round, we are going to make increases again. Knit one below pearl one until you have two stitches before the next stitch marker. Knit one below pearl one, knit one below pearl one. Yeah, here you see two knit stitches, slip as to knit, knit, and pass over. Everything what we did in the very first round. Knit one below and knit two together. Again, go on knitting till the next stitch marker. Knit one below pearl one. Knit one below pearl one. Here, slip, knit, pass over, slip the stitch marker, knit one below, and then knit two together. Go on knit until the end, and I will show you what we are going to do here at the end. I'm at the end, so this is the stitch marker, this is knit one below, and here we need to make a knit two together, so we take one stitch from the next round, so we remove the stitch marker uh, for one stitch forward, and use this first stitch to make a knit two together. Knit two together. That's it. So like this you're going to do all the time when you need this one stitch. So you will always move the stitch marker one stitch forward. The next round, round without decreases, pearl one below knit one. Pearl one below knit one. Pearl one below and here knit one. Knit one. Knit one. So knit three in total. Again, pearl one below knit one. Pearl one below knit one. Pearl one below and here knit three. One, two, three. Okay, finish this round and go on alternating rounds with increases and without decreases moving stitch marker forward one stitch forward in the beginning i mean stitch marker and go on making decreases until you have if i'm not mistaken 16 stitches or it can be another number it depends on how many stitches you cast on at the beginning. Here I am. That's how the crown is looking now. This is the the knit stitch that uh, I mean the one that uh, was always after the stitch marker. Now cut the yarn, leaving 10-15 centimeters tail. I'm going to use a yarn needle to 
thread the tail. and slip remaining stitches. In this way. So remove the stitch marker. Three, four, five, six, Remove the stitch marker Fifteen, sixteen. So as I said, sixteen stitches. Pull the the top to close the hole here, like this. Pull the tail to the wrong side, and let's weave in ends here. I'm going to. Thread the tail again underneath remaining stitches once or twice. In this direction. So just going underneath again. And always pull. 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 Okay, that's enough. You can make a knot. Let's do it together. And pull one more time here. And it's done. So cut the yarn and do not afraid. It will not unravel. So that's how it looks. We still have some tails to work and weave in. And at the beginning, let me show what I'm going to do with this tail. And you will do the same with other. Again, thread the tail and on the wrong side. So it's separate stitch, but on the wrong side it, it looks like a neat stitch. Just pull the tail underneath one side of each neat stitch going up, up, so you see the neat stitch is looking like a V stitch I've lost the tail here, okay. Okay. 
and then cut the yarn. Do not forget to wash your mask and it's done. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something new from this video tutorial. If yes, please like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't and see you soon. Bye!